Don't go up there! Careful, careful, careful! Oh, I wouldn't do that. Don't go up there! Very stupid. Don't go up there! Silly cyclists! Welcome to episode 44 of Silly Cyclists. I'm your host, Cycle Gaz. And uh, I'm sorry for the delay in the uh, between this episode and the previous one. Uh, Christmas time is a family time for me. I didn't get much time to, to work on this. And uh, beforehand, I was tied up at work. Um, I had very little spare time to work on any projects. Uh, but my New Year's resolution this year is to, to put more effort into Silly Cyclists. And... Uh, I hope the series can progress even further than it has done in the past year or so. Um, but anyway, let's crack right on with number 10. Our first submission is from Alex Warrior. And uh, it's a pretty standard thing that we see every single day of cyclists just blasting through the red light. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Now, pretty much anywhere in the world you're probably going to see this at, at any junction. And uh, in some cases, not particularly dangerous, but it uh, doesn't mean we should be doing it anyway. Number nine, a clip here from myself. Uh, quite an old one, though, as you can see. The weather looks quite nice. Um, and uh, this is part of Vauxhall Gyratory. Uh, one-way system, basically. And you can only go one way, really. But uh, to my surprise, oh, we've got a bloody salmon. A bloody these salmon cyclists—they get bloody everywhere. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious what's stupid about that. No one is expecting you to come that way. Cause yourself some real danger. Number eight here from Cycling Mikey, and there's a pedestrian on the on a pedestrian, a cyclist on the pavement up ahead. We're going to see him join the road and do nothing. He's not doing anything. Not doing anything. Oh, now he's going to pedal. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Um. Yeah, not exactly the best thing to do to just join the road like that. Always make sure you check properly, join at, join at a proper point, and uh, get going as soon as possible. Uh, just start moving and makes things a bit easier. Mikey did witness this guy doing a few other silly things, going through red lights, etc, etc. Number seven, clip here from Mr. Darling, the cyclist. And uh, the, the lesson here really is, if you're filming, try, try not to fall over. Um, lesson number two, don't put it on YouTube. Lesson number three, don't give it to me. And uh, also, don't do it next to a car full of guys. As uh, Here, they're just, they're just laughing at him. And uh, the, the, I think the funny thing is about this is that he's also... He's, he's, he, can, he can't stop laughing. Uh, when it does happen, it is quite funny. You know, you just can't get your foot out. And you, you just topple over sideways. We've all done it. Number six, a clip here from Mr. Grumpy Cyclist. And this is something I see quite a lot. Um... With um, with a stop line, you know, it's put there for a reason. Especially in situations like this, where there's a, a right turn that can be, uh, or a left turn, uh, which can be pretty tight. And uh, it's best to stop at that stop line, and not go further forward. Technically, you've jumped the red light. Uh, not really much of a problem here. Um, but positioning yourself in this sort of situation is going to cause this issue when the bus comes around the corner. And oh look, <laughs> nearly going to get hit by it. Not a very good thing to do. Um, so, you know, it is wise just to stop behind the stop line. You, you gain nothing from this. Uh, and um, you look like a bit of a fool if someone filmed you. Number five. Clip here from Four Chords No Net. And up ahead you can see a cyclist has just stopped just to let this tram pass. And uh, she doesn't want it, the tram breathing down her, obviously. Um, and I don't know how this tram works, but for some reason it sets the traffic lights off pretty much straight away. So it's always handy to be behind it rather than in front of it. But uh, you're going to see here, no, nope, the cyclist actually wants to filter past here. Now there's a problem with these trams, especially on corners, is that the axles uh, being not right at the back means that they do swing out a little bit. So putting yourself inside the kerb can be pretty dangerous. And uh, you can easily get clipped uh, very quickly because of the way that the back end just swings around. Number four. Now, approaches some traffic lights here. We're going to see them turn to amber and on the brakes straight away pretty easy. There is traffic lights on the left-hand side facing the other way as well. So it's perfectly clear to this cyclist coming now that uh, he should be stopping. But he doesn't. He dings his bell. And uh, public humiliation is the only way to make them learn. And uh, yep, I said to those people as well, bloody cyclists, eh? What do we expect? You know, we all know that they do it. But really, they shouldn't. Number three, a clip here from... Crawford 79 and uh, this cycle path is two way with pedestrians two way as well um, 
And this just highlights why you should not overtake on a corner. It's just an absolutely stupid idea. This is full on head on. Could have very easily been a collision if uh, if either cyclist was going a little bit faster and um, the timings weren't quite right. Just really, really wouldn't have been a good impact. Number two, a clip here from pre Premises 187. And um, this is an interesting one. Just watch this cyclist up ahead. You're going to see that... Uh, that he's going to try and filter up this this right hand side, which really isn't a good idea. You're going to put yourself in a really bad position. I suspect he may have put himself in the blind spot of the driver, and he ends up on his ass. Uh, he turns out to be fine, and uh, he catches up with the, the the coach driver, who actually I don't think had any idea of what just happened. Um, but looking at this situation. Um, Really, you shouldn't be filtering here. We can see here that there's an island um, to the right. You know, if anything does happen through that gap, you you, you are going to get squashed. You're going to be pushed into the the side, and and there's railings there as well, which you know you could get some serious damage to you if it happens whilst you're next to those railings. Now, the the reason the coach moves out is because there's uh, buses parked on the left hand side. It has to do that to get around it. Um, You'd expect the bus driver be a little bit, the, the coach driver be a little bit more aware of what was around him, but um, in my opinion, uh, being a, a savvy cyclist is about looking after yourself. And um, whilst that gap did look quite um, appealing to go up, um, it really wasn't the best time to do it when the traffic is moving freely. Perhaps if it was stationary and you can see it wasn't going to be moving, then uh, it wouldn't be a problem. But when it's moving. With that traffic island next to you, you have zero escape exits. Um, then it really wasn't a good idea. And I hope the, the guys learn from it because uh, that's going to be the key thing. Number one, a clip here from Velo Evol. And uh, just watch this Boris biker. Uh, I think you, this is a problem you see with the, with the Boris bikes is that people that aren't really in tune with how... Uh, things work on the road, get on them, and, and they, they, they play follow the leader. And you can see there from Velo Evol's reaction that um, that really was a shocker. Uh, this is some pretty poor filtering. Um, and You're putting yourself right in, in that blind spot of, of the lorry driver. He does have his mirrors, but then the ones that will make you visible when you're right next to that cab are particularly small, and he may not be looking at them in a quick glance. Um, and he may not see you, he may not track your position, and you're just putting yourself in a really bad position. And, uh, you know, it's, we've probably all seen that clip from the, from, uh, the, lo on the motorway where the lorry driver's got a car stuck in, in front of him, he's just driving along, because you, you can't, they can't see, they don't know if there's something there. You know, that, that lorry could um, ram it behind you and just keep going, because he's not going to know. Anyway, that's it for episode 44 of City Cyclists. I've got several clips um, hiding away on my computer for, that people have submitted me for uh, the next few episodes um, so I'm hoping that I um, get one out uh, just over a week's time um, and uh, I think to progress the show forward if everyone that does get a clip of a city cyclist if you, if you could put it on YouTube uh, it's the easiest way but if you just mark it as unlisted and then just send me that link um, and that way I think it makes it more entertaining for other users uh, because they get to see new new clips that they've not seen before and then as soon as I put the, the Silly Cyclists episode live you can, you can whack it up and people can see it um, and uh, I think that will be a real benefit to the show and uh, again I'm always going to do what I always do and, and, and give everyone credit give subscribe links back to help everyone grow um, anyway that's it I'm sorry for the wait again and uh, hopefully it won't be long till the next time you hear my voice on uh, Silly Cyclist. So um, don't forget, pedal safely. <laughs>